people for certain injuries, big help with things like uh, orthotics that you can put in the shoe that can unload a tendon or a joint that is arthritic, like we were just talking about in here. And so it's a good big help. Now, a lot of parents and things ask in my office, if my kids have a flat foot or my kid has a high arch or knock kneed or uh, bow legged, should we get orthotics? If the kid's having no problems and doing well in sports, absolutely not. But if your kid is having a problem with recurrent problems, tendon problems, uh, inflammation, stress fractures, other things like that, in injuries from foot to ankle to shin to knee to hip to low back, orthotics help us really quite a bit in the shoe to get people in a neutral position when they're running. And then, of course, our Orth- orthotists, one of the best around, who's a good friend of yours and mine, Aaron Galpert. I got to give him a shout out. Twenty nine years, Aaron's done these for me. Mm-hmm. Is he gets these G pe- money? We call him Joe. <laughs> <laughs> is he gets these people into a neutral position? And for years, I've had young athletes come back and say, "Wow, that made a big difference." And they're trying to find that magical spot with Kyle Corver. It sounds like right now. Mm. Yeah, and we got to get him back in the rotation because. J.R. Smith just isn't hitting. Oh, my gosh, is he struggling? He looks like he's struggling defensively, too, and in mm-hmm. a lot of ways, J.R. looks like he's struggling. With us is Dr. Joe Congeni, Sports Medicine Center, Akron Children's Hospital. I hate to keep catch you off guard here, but I know you'll know about this, and I saw this when I was in Arizona, but actually, we haven't been face-to-face, I think, yeah. since we got back from Arizona, and I saw a lot of this for my very first time <clears throat> when I was out there, excuse me, was this cupping that these players were using when they were getting done with their workouts. They were putting these cups on their backs and in their arms, and you could see the the remnants of the, the cupping. And I asked a couple of players to describe it for me, and it was just kind of lukewarm. Helps you recover from a workout better. It spreads out your blood, I guess. What can you tell me about it and describe it as you can for my listeners? Well, so I, yeah, I went over and asked our therapist how much better than a lot of the techniques we're using now. Well, in sports therapies, like everything else, and it's what's hot now. And so, you know, the Graston techniques, the deep tissue. Me- uh, techniques the modalities and one of the real hot treatments right now oh the the taping of course is so hot the functional taping and the kinesio taping but right now probably the hottest thing in sports pt is cupping and so our therapists are using cupping in a lot of situations and so what happens is in areas where there's decreased blood flow there will be stiffening of the muscle tendon complex after a workout after a workout Mm -hmm. and it's not working well and that's what brings some of the pain as i limped in this morning at the bottom of my foot my plantar fascia that kind of thing gets stiff and achy and hard to move around and so especially it seems to be in a lot of the upper body and back areas with the larger muscles that's where i noticed most of them having that done in order to jump start these muscles what they're using is this cupping to increase the blood flow into that area and get the muscle tendon work uh, unit working well again And, and there's definitely some evidence in the literature as you look back, like a lot of other things, it's not brand new. It's been out there for a long time, but it kind of goes in the background for a long time. And then something happens. I think it really was the Olympics a year or two ago that really jump-started that. And now it's really a hot technique in larger muscles generally, not so much in the smaller muscle groups of the feet or something like that. But we're seeing it a lot in the shoulders and back. Just so my listeners understand, it's kind of like, is it a rubber cup? Kind of that gets put on the back, and then what does it do? Does it's it like warm the su- area? It's or like what? a su- large suction cup, and so in it actually increases the bleeding in that area, and so there will be some pretty good bruising that you'll see in that I area. I saw that, but that's what you want to. That's what you want to accomplish, and so it's not unusual, not un, 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 uh, unlike in more localized areas where we sometimes do injections. Even now, another one that was hot the last couple of years, dry needling, but that's in a smaller area where we're trying to induce some of this bleeding to improve the function of the muscle to get the muscle back working normally again. Explain that to me and the listeners when you're saying you want bruising. And you want bleeding. Uh, talk to us on the, on the simplest of stages so that you can. So if we, Ray, could go into some of these larger muscle groups and look at them under a microscope, they become very stiff. And we use a word fibrotic and scarred. 
and you look for all the good normal blood flow that there should be in these muscles and tendons, and there's not good blood flow in these. This is the major problem in so many adult problems like rotator cuff, like tennis elbow, like plantar fasciitis. It's actually decreased blood flow, fibrosis or scar tissue, stiffening of the muscle tendon. The muscle tendon should work together. That's why I keep using the term the complex. And really, under a microscope, there's not much blood flow there at all. So we're trying to induce the blood flow back into that area to get then we know the muscle tendon unit will start to work normally speeds again. Speeds the healing too, it correct? Speeds, it speeds the healing or maybe in some situations where we wouldn't be getting healing at all. Mm-hmm. And so particularly good in bigger areas like the dry needling is in smaller areas of the muscles and tendons. And all techniques that physical therapists use to get the most out of their athletes. Their athletes want to be back playing sports again. Well, the, I noticed the Indians, all, all these players were using that after their morning workouts because they would work out on the field. They come in, do their lifting and their running, and they come in wow. and they get the cupping done. And uh-huh. it was new to me. It's the first year that I've really noticed. Yeah, that. and you saw it pretty widespread. Five, ten, fifteen. Many people on the team. Oh using yeah, it. for sure. Yeah. All right, good stuff, Joe. Good seeing you again, my friend. All right, Ray. Great to be back. Thanks. All right, Doctor Joe Congeni, Sports Medicine Center, Akron Children's Hospital.